Welcome to QNogia today and today we'll be going over creating a database and, and respective tables to it. As we all know, a database is a collection, so organized collection of data is an electronic system that allows data to be easily assessed as well, manipulated and updated. That means the database helps us to collect related information concerning a systems um, into a database so that we can manipulate them, querying them, updating them or deleting them thereafter. In other words, the database is used by an organization as a storing, managing and retrieving information. Modern database are managed using database management system. DBMS and we have a lot of DBMS these days like MS SQL, Microsoft SQL, Oracle, Postgres SQL, SQL Lite and a lot of them and because every organization this day and age uses database in fact bigger mega database to store their systems to store every information you're interacting with on their website or applications respective applications e.g amazon facebook google and everything so to leave that behind let's focus on our task for today let's um on postgres sql i'm sure you know how to get to your pg admin interface just on your search tool on your search bar type in pg admin and it will bring you to this place then you connect to your um the sql by just uh, logging in using your using your password password you created when you are installing so to go over creating our database we use this interface to create the database today so just go right click on it to create database then choose database then put the name for example let's just create a school let's let's name it a school Let's name our database is cool. You can name the name of your database respective to in res related to your information you want to collect. So you say save and you will see this database in this place. Shows school is already there. If you look at the left hand side, you see the school database. So to use our query tools to create tables in this school system, all we need to do is to right click on the school or we go over you don't need to right click, just go over the tools here and use the query tools here and it will bring us to this query interface query interface so with this this is the platform where we'll be using to query and creating our tables and to go before I go creating the table the syntax for creating a database is this just write this then your database name like we did here yes, cool and you do like this but because we've already created it using the interface we do like this then to create a table we want to create a school table uh, we want to create collect information about a school and we want to collect in this school database we want to collect first table we want to get is to get student information so let's create a student table create table you issue this command of create table then the name of the table student so this is going to be the name of the table we want to create like this then every table is just like an excel sheet must have a columns that store a related information so that by the time we query them as rows they will make sense so and for every tables you are creating there must be a unique a unique id that can that makes the table unique and in this place we say student let's say student id like this and we want to make it an integer this integer is just depicting the data type that will be stored in this column and we'll go over data type later then we we'll make it our primary key primary key like this this is how you write like this this is the first column so this s to the id is going to is going to be collecting integer nothing less than integer primary key and is our primary key for this table next we want to call a student name so it's a first name first name we want to make it a varka like this variable character a 
and in this variable character this another data type storing pistol numbers you can store test variable character so you can give it how many for the first name you can say 255 to store and we don't want it to be null you say not null like English you put a comma so I think there's a mistake here first so we, we take the last name now last name follow last name here yeah, and we do we can do varchar as well same thing then we can leave it we can leave the plane the now then we can do address then we can do test for this then we can do is maybe student age age we can do int here we can do address and, and phone number then we can do test as well so with this we can say we can go ahead creating our first table in our progress sql we can create our first table sorry i marked something out so in this place so with this we've already written out the syntax to create a table using this tool so all you need to do is just go over here and say create and if you see the returns here, query returns successfully in 52 seconds. This is how many seconds it takes to create this table. So just refresh your database. You can refresh to go look up the table we've created in this school database. Click on your school database, click on schema, click on public, then you click on tables. And you can see our two certain tables. Click on columns to see the columns. You can see all the columns we've just created now. So with this, I will leave us for today. The next time we go over creating multiple tables, relating them together, then go over data type as well. Thank you and stay tuned.